Yeah. It's such a sad, sad, I suppose, series of events. Um, and they seem to be getting more and more frequent. Um, and I think last year, you know, it was simple wording, you know, everything so small as, as the China virus, which is such a, a terrible description of, of just racially charging something that obviously everybody's going through. Um, and that was one of the first steps into, into creating this kind of this, this issue that we're going through. The Asian communities were banding together. There, I've, I've seen on, on Twitter and, and on Instagram of these organizations getting together in like Oakland in these major cities and volunteers are volunteering their time for the elderly, the ones that are, you know, we shouldn't even be having to look after and be worried about them, but we are. Like they can't even go to the store or, or, or start or work at their business without the fear of some sort of um, violence. And so there's these, these amazing um, organizations sort of lending their time to essentially creating some sense of security for those types of people. So You know, how does it stop? It's really kind of an education thing. It's, it's, it's sad to say, but it's only a few kind of horrid individuals who are creating these issues. And it's, and it's almost a domino effect. So we need to nip it in, in its bud um, to stop it from sort of expanding. And so, you know, getting together within your community, figuring out how you can you can sort of prevent these these types of things how you can help each other how how you can help your your neighbors i think now is an important time to get together